Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to become left-handed if you are right-handed. This will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and also an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. If you are right-handed and you want to become left-handed, okay, it's actually not that hard to do, but it will take time. You are essentially going to be training your left hand to be as good as your right hand. And when you have two hands that are equally, um, equally strengthened and, and, and do things equally well, you are considered to be ambidextrous. So this is really the steps. These are really the steps to becoming ambidextrous, to becoming as good with your left hand, to become left-handed if you are already right-handed, okay? Now, when we're born, we're usually, you know, siding with a handedness, right or left-handedness, and then we just continually use that hand and it gets better and better, and we become right-handed because we continually use it over and over again. So we're doing the same thing, but as an adult or as an older person, not a baby, with our left hand. So the first thing that you want to do is trace. So literally, you're going to get a pen or pencil or a uh, pencil crayon, preferably thicker. If you have a thicker handle on a writing utensil, you're going to want to use one of those. And you're going to trace things. That's step number one. Trace things uh, because it's going to give you the beginning steps to becoming left-handed if you are already right-handed. Step number two is practice your grip on a pen or pencil or crayon or um or um, coloring pencil, what's a pencil crayon? Oh my gosh, I couldn't think of that for a second. A pencil crayon, any, any writing utensil, marker, anything. Um, you wanna practice holding it properly, okay? So once you've traced for a while, practice holding the writing utensil properly with your left hand. You're doing all this with your left hand, obviously. Step number three is practice writing alphabetical letters. So literally write an uppercase A, lowercase a, uppercase b, lowercase b, uppercase c, lowercase c, and so forth, okay? You're going to write these alphabetical letters. You're literally going to pretend like you're back in kindergarten and you're writing the letters over and over again, but you're doing it with your left hand because you're training your left hand to become as strong as your right hand already is. Step number four is to practice writing your name. The reason I say practice writing your name is because it allows you um, to essentially be, use familiar letters. Um, you've been writing your name probably ever since you were in, you know, kindergarten, ever since you were like three, four, five years old, right? Um, you know, or even earlier for some people. So when you practice writing your name, you're going to bring back those muscular memories um, from your brain and you're just using them with a different hand and you're just learning it. You're relearning it with your left hand instead of your right. Okay, step number five is practice writing words or sentences with your left hand. So now you have all the letters down, you're going to bring them together. Now, when you're writing with your right hand, if you are right-handed, you know, there's certain ways to combine certain letters. So when you write certain letters together, um, one after another, let's say you have an A and then a B as part of a word, you know the sequence to write that A and then the B, but your left hand is not used to that. So you're practicing that with your left hand by writing words and sentences, okay? Um, and number six, step number six is going to be to write backwards you can actually try writing backwards because when you write backwards with your left hand it's going to sort of replicate what you would be writing with your right hand sort of so with that being said try and write backwards okay um, and it'll sort of give you an idea of what your right hand would be feeling so um, that was number six and that's an optional step but it will help you believe it or not um, in, in, in becoming better at, with your left hand. Step number seven is to strengthen your grip. So you want to use um, forearm, you know, forearm strengtheners. You know those little, it's like a thing that you squeeze together, those things like that. You can honestly get a can, like a can of, of beans, and just kind of grip that can over and over again. You want to strengthen your grip with your left hand because all of your grip strengthening has been done with your right hand for your whole life if you're right-handed. So by strengthening your left hand, you're going to do a great job at um, transferring that strength, not transferring, but increasing that strength in your left hand to get it to be as strong or at least close to as strong as your right hand. Lastly is number eight, which is do everything else left-handed. Start learning to do everything else left-handed. Meaning if you're playing baseball and you bat as a right-handed batter, you're going to now try batting as a left-handed batter. Okay, you're going to use your computer mouse with your left hand. Um, if you play hockey and you are a right handed stick shooter, you're going to practice as a left handed stick shooter. You play pool and you're playing with your right hand, play with your left hand instead. Okay, the idea is to start doing everything with your left hand. And then eventually, I mean, it doesn't take that long, right? You'll be like really proficient with your left hand in a short period of time. It will take long to get to that 100% proficiency with your left hand, but to get to 70, 80% proficiency won't take that long. You'll be surprised 
at how quickly it happens, especially if you put your mind to it and you dedicate the hours to doing it. That's it. That is how to become left-handed if you are already right-handed. I've given you some simple steps. I believe I have, wrote, I have eight, eight steps written down over here to become left-handed. And that's it. You are on your way to being ambidextrous if you use these steps appropriately and you dedicate the time. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.